everyone, Matt and Summer here and welcome to our latest property tour. Today we are standing in front of Oakfield, which is built by the award-winning developers Huntsmere. This property has five bedrooms and an entertainment space on the second floor. This property also has over 6,000 square feet of living space. So the Oakfield has been completely designed and built all in-house by Huntsmere. We're in Hale Barnes, a picturesque and affluent village in the borough of Trafford, Greater Manchester. We have Manchester Airport just 1.8 miles away and we're just under seven miles from the world famous Manchester United Football Club. The home is priced at £2,675,000 and let's go show you around. As we come into the entrance of the property, we've got a full height door and also full height glass next to that, letting loads and loads of light in. So someone's gonna show you through to the living space on the left of us now. So coming through to the first reception room. So in this room, we've got the chandelier above us, which looks beautiful, and this feature wall with a space for a huge flat screen TV. The developer has his own interior design team in-house, so all of this you see is designed by himself. And on the floor we've got this, what looks like a rug, but is actually carpet inset within the hard floor, which I think is a really nice touch. To the left of me here, we've got lots of shelving space with LED lighting and these large windows giving so much natural light into the reception room. And before we go out of this room, I just want to mention there's an electric fireplace. So again, you can have that cozy feeling if you want the fire on. So coming through to this area here, this is the main open plan living space of the ground floor. So it flows around to the kitchen. Again, you could have a table area here, maybe like a dining table. It's up to you really. So you've got your lounge there and your dining space here. We've got doors out to the side of the property. So if you wanted to get to the garden, you've got access there. So coming through back here. Okay, so we're coming through to the main living area. We have this huge open plan space. I really like how it connects with the formal living area through there, but it also still has a feeling of being separate. Yeah. So we've got, again, same as the room over there, carpet set into the floor, which just separates your living space dining area, another huge space for a TV and yeah. additional electric fireplace behind us as well. And although the feature walls are dark and again the floor is dark, there's so much natural light down here, it still yeah. feels so spacious and bright. I think the bifold doors really help with that, we've got full width bifold doors stretching across the whole back of the property, yeah. so just as you say, letting so much light in really sets the scene. So coming through to this side of the room, we've got the kitchen. So we're in the kitchen area here. I love this center of Stone Island. Some I mentioned before, all of the design and all of the features are built in-house by the team. So they've done a fantastic job. So over here, we have the, from this side, we have the freezer built into this side. And a full length fridge, fridge on, built on the other side. side. And then you've got all of your oven appliances built nicely into the middle. We've also got two dishwashers fitted on this side of the kitchen. Yeah. So one here, and then one just oh, the other one. side of the sink. And then behind us, we've got a wine cooler and loads and loads of additional storage throughout. We've got a Miele induction hob on the central island and this really cool Falmec circular extractor fan, which is kind what of What a great cool. design. It kind yeah. of looks like a, a light just yeah. sitting there and really sets, sets the scene off. The light fittings in the property downstairs are all really, really nice. They set the scene, you've got chandeliers, you've got loads of different type of light fittings, haven't you, throughout? Yeah, so as you come through to the right of me, we've got the utility area, which is built to the same design as the kitchen and also has loads and loads of additional storage space in here 
its own sink area, and then we have access to the garden from the other side. So we're making our way back into the entrance hall of the property now. We come past these fantastic feature uh, kind of showcase areas where you can have lots of books or art pieces. We continue through the double doors, and over to the right hand side of me, we have the garage just through that door there, and a downstairs toilet through the door on the right of me, and then additional cloakroom space here. Now we've done the ground floor, let's show you guys the first floor where all the bedrooms are. So coming up the stairs, you come through these double doors into the master bedroom. We've got doors out to a balcony area looking over your garden and then to the left of me we've got this lovely modern ensuite. We've got a marble effect on the floor and the um, walls. We've got a huge, huge shower and a lovely standalone bathtub and there's also a his and hers sink. So here we've got a space for an electric fireplace and then another TV mounted on the wall here and come through here. Through this room is one of the wardrobe spaces for the master bedroom. There is a his and hers. So we've got lots of wardrobe space in this room and Matt will show you the next one. Okay, so coming over to the other side of the room, this is the other dressing area. Again, similar to the other one, we've got loads of storage space and a nice outlook to the garden. So we're coming into one of the guest bedrooms here. We've got built-in wardrobe space to the other side and two skylights letting in a load of light. And then as we come through, we've got an interesting Jack and Jill bathroom, which means it can be accessed by both this guest bedroom and the one following over there. The ensuite space is a lovely area, big standing shower, and again, lovely tile fixtures throughout. Okay, so this is the additional bedroom space, and this outlooks towards the front of the property. So across the landing, we've got this other bedroom, so come on through. This bedroom as well has a front aspect and coming round here, we've got a little makeup area. So you could have all your wardrobe space round here hidden away. And this uh, bedroom also has its own ensuite with a shower and bath. Okay, so that's the first floor. We're gonna head up to the second floor now. We have an incredible entertainment space up there. Now, it hasn't been fully finished because the developers wanted to leave the option to the buyer to create the space that they want. So let's go up and we can see what it's got. So on the second floor landing, to the front of me, we've got the first reception room. And to the left of me, we've got the bathroom with a lovely marble tile effect. And over on the right, we've got a kitchen space, perfect for a self-contained area up here. And then behind me, we've got the biggest and possibly coolest area of the property, a complete open L-shaped area that could be used to have a bar space, a games room, a media room, or whatever you want to create. So now we've seen the inside of the property, let's head outside and show you guys the garden. Okay, coming outside to the garden, We've got a sunken hot tub over to the right hand side and the garden is facing south so a fantastic space for capturing the sun. And guys we hope you enjoyed this property tour. Make sure to check out our channel and hit subscribe to see more luxury homes. Thank you so much for watching.